Episode 2 Prisoner Effectiveness. You're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Okay. I helped catch a traitor today. A traitor? Was that what all that commotion was about? Yep. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't, uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so... You hang in here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink a little. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. 
I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because as you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Oh, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I might have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. <laughs> Wearing his nice cufflinks. Chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh, my God, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Whoop. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told you. No. Why am I losing so bad? I don't think I can drink, drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. OK. <laughs> OK. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the it. encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 crocker. Hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah.
So you don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, But I, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work, you know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. I am there. Nah. I guess, yeah, I love work. Hold oh, it right shit. there! Shit. Shit. You little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here. Is that gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Hurry up. You're a very kind person. It's right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? Disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of him. Life form. It's Dr. Kim.
the second machine. Where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however... It's stretched. Like... You've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from the few fragments of memories. One in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. But at this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what Will was? Necessary sacrifice. Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate I'll be here who was he he was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in a, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. You're in the blinker. Fiona. 
The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. Stutter, where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them. Charlie! 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 Fuck it! 